All right, ladies, uh, we're going to go through the performance development program uh, that's done between Health and Performance Center, Advanced Neural Performance, and CrossFit Level, specifically for the uh, soccer program. Uh, who is this for? Uh, not 100% sure where these kids are coming from. I know uh, Tiffany and I have had several conversations about different teams, but uh, I'm assuming that this is just a uh, compilation of a couple of teams. They might go to different high schools, might play on uh, the same uh, select club, uh, but whoever it is, uh, Tiffany, fill us in exactly who we're working with, uh, age groups, um, but from our conversation uh, with you, this it sounds like this is advanced level high school athletes, uh, various function or excuse me, various levels of functional capability. Uh, most are serious contenders for college teams. Some are serious contention or uh, contenders for scholarships. Fewer serious contender contenders for D1 or D2 scholarships. All of them are in need of lower half refinement, and most importantly, all are in need of upper half strength development and concussion prevention. Uh, what will be accomplished or what are we uh, accomplishing with this? Well, first, we're going to identify the incomplete mechanics with midline stability as well as upper and lower extremity movement patterns. Uh, we want to be able to quantify uh, a start point for each athlete and baseline capabilities so that they can progress uh, from the beginning uh, safely and efficiently to a much better point at the end of the program. Uh, and the progression, we want to progress athletes through a quantified performance development program. So in other words, we just want to make sure that uh, it's not just subjective, that this is neat and fun and dandy. Uh, we are measuring certain as aspects that uh, uh, more from a, a scientific method so that they can be proven and shown and felt and reinforced and, uh, and developed over time. Uh, month one is really going to focus on lower half refinement. Again, these are soccer players, so their lower half should be uh, pretty well developed as far as capability. There's going to be some uh, refinement there uh, in terms of movement patterning. But as far as overall strength development, that's not necessarily the priority yet. However, on the upper half strength development, that's much more of the priority to balance these kids out as well as to uh, increase their neck and shoulder strength uh, for concussion prevention and overall health and capability. Uh, month two is going to be lower half strength development. So after you know full refinement of those things, we build in squat deadlift uh, variations in terms of strength development. Upper half is a continuation of what was done in month two uh, to ensure that, that we're progressing forward. Uh, how will we deliver movement refinement and strength development? That's going to be done with CrossFit level on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, mobility recovery and injury prevention strategies will be done on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, again, it's not on here, but with registration, uh, they will have access to the uh, performance development program for soccer uh, through the internet, through Wattify. Um, headset and AMP devices uh, that will be done by appointment and sports physical and functional movement assessment will be done by appointment uh, with uh, Health and Performance Center. Uh, what will it produce? A functionally sound athlete, uh, more specifically movement pattern progression and mobility strategies will have been set and solidified. Functionally strong athlete, midline stability and upper lower extremity strength progression has been set and solidified. Uh, functionally durable athlete, uh, recovery and injury prevention strategies have been set and solidified as well as concussion prevention st strategies uh, being set and solidified. Uh, initial flow uh, tonight, Thursday, June 1st, will be uh, the first session, and I believe some Friday, J June 2nd, will be coming in. Uh, I know some are on vacation and might be filtering into the program a little bit later. Uh, we'll be able to take them through this same process. Uh, we'll have to just kind of figure that out on the fly, but we're smart individuals and we can make that happen. Uh, registration, uh, meaning getting um, them put into the uh, system. Uh, introduction and explanation, general warm-up, baseline movement intro, uh, phase identification, baseline workout, recovery and questions, dismiss, and payment. So uh, the questions on here is when when do they register? How much time do we take uh, to get them registered? Is that something that they do at a later date? And if that's the case, when we do the baseline 
um, uh, workout? Do we just, instead of having a bunch of people register, just give them a sheet and they can put down their, their name and their time and their phase and then register at a later point uh, and, and do that on their own time? Uh, that's something to kind of discuss and figure out. Introduction and explanation is pretty simple. We'll just kind of go through what I've already gone through in this. Generalized warm-up, we're going to take them through just something that opens up their upper and lower half, drives blood flow. Uh, baseline movement intro is just going to be going through the uh, phases of movement um, or the, uh, the movement patterns so that we can do phase identification and put people in either uh, phase one, phase two, or phase three. Uh, then we'll be able to run heats of the baseline workout based off of that phase identification with um, individuals who do well with their movement patterns or in phase one uh, going first uh, followed by phase two followed by phase three to allow for more time for those individuals who need a little bit more um, work or need to see kind of how things progress so that they uh, they have a decent and safe baseline workout after that, recovery and questions, take them through a baseline recovery strategy and, and give them a feel for how things will go as far as warm up, workout and strength development and recovery in the future. Um, also giving them an idea of what it will be like to do a little bit more of the endurance and recovery type training on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, dismiss and uh, yeah, call it a night.